but I thought this idea was crazy to start with. We were a little nervous. We've had to take things apart a few times and rebuild them. Ten weeks is a really short period, going from a concept, then design, and then build the whole thing. We've always done sort of design, build, test, project-based things in this course, and that's always been a lot of fun. We've never done something at quite this scale. We want to make sure that our students come in, they have a context for the engineering that they're going to be doing. You know, if they're going to be explaining the capacity of a two by four piece of lumber, we want them to have actually cut a two by four. I'm a freshman in civil engineering at Oregon Tech. My mom used to say that I was going to be an engineer because I used to play with Legos and just like design weird things with it. They're learning how to do project management through this and that's, that's not something you really learn until you actually do. It's a new experience for me. It's like I'm a freshman and building a tiny house at my level. It's incredible. I initially chose engineering because it's kind of close to what my family has done. They were in the construction business and I wanted to take it further. Engineering here I thought was the better choice because we are a hands-on school. Our professors really get the chance to know us because our classes are super, super small. I come from industry. The other faculty members have an academic and industry experience as well. So between the three of us, we bring a wide range of experience to try to help the students know what it's really gonna be like when they're out in the field. The faculty just kind of guides us. If we have a terrible idea, they're like, oh, that's a bad idea. But beyond that, it's all our decisions. If there was any decisions that needed to be made, we all made them as a class together. It's really what we do here at Oregon Tech, hands-on. And so this has been the ultimate hands-on learning experience. They've learned through trial and error, some failure. So far, we've had to come up with lots of plans and change the plans lots of times. Pretty daunting, but it's a lot of fun. The look on their face when you put a nail gun in a student's hands who's never experienced that kind of a power tool before. The parents, they hear about it and they want to join the class now, so. The impact of something like this on students is fantastic. It really gets a sense of working in a team, and I feel like this is what this project has been all about. Becoming teams instead of just groups. There's something really profound that happens when you bring people with a diverse set of skills together. You get this opportunity to work together towards a common goal, and all of a sudden, all your creativity and excitement gets channeled into something that's better than it could have possibly been with any one of us alone.